Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is number 47, and this is Algebraic Fractions as part of my IGCC exam question series. If you do find it useful, please do like the video and subscribe if you're not already. This topic is a big one. It's a really important topic if you want to go on and study A-level maths. In fact, I would say that it's the most important topic you want to master if you want to go on and study A-level maths. Such important to have um, good algebra skills. Okay, let's get into the maths. Let's do it. Okay, so this is just a simplify, and it's asking you to write it as a single fraction, and we've got these two denominators here. We need to find a common denominator. So if in doubt, you can just multiply them together, and in this case, this would give you the lowest common denominator. So I'm just going to write it out here to get a little bit more space, so I can show you exactly what I would do. So I want the common denominator to be um, 6x. So I'm going to have to times this one, top and bottom, by 2x. And that will give me a total of um, 10x on top and 6x on bottom. And I'm going to times this one, top and bottom, by 3 to get 6x on the bottom. And timesing that by 3 will give me 3x plus 6. And I get 6x on the bottom of both of them. Which is great, because it means I can now write it as just 6x on the bottom and then I can combine these two numerators. Now, very careful, particularly when you're subtracting, I recommend putting them in brackets like this, and then reading across. So 10x minus 3x is 7x, and then we have 0 minus 6 is minus 6. So not putting minus 6 there, putting plus 6 there, is the most common mistake I see at GCSE level. I really recommend putting it in brackets like that and then just reading across and making sure that you apply that negative to both terms in that second bracket. Okay, next question. I'm going to forget about this uh, equals minus 3 for the moment. and I'm going to write this as a single fraction. So the common denominator is 10. So I'm going to times this one top and bottom by 2 and this one top and bottom by 5. Timesing the one on the left by 2 is going to give me 8 minus 6x over 10. And timesing this one is going to give me um, 15x minus 25 over 10. And once again, we're going to be subtracting these two um, fractions. And they like to do that because... A lot of people forget to multiply the second term by the negative. We're not going to do that. We're going to use the bracket method to stop us doing that. Let's look at the numbers. We've got 8 minus minus 25. So that's the same as 8 plus 25, which is 33. And then we've got minus 6x minus 15x, and that's minus 21x. And that's all over 10, and that equals minus 3. I can then times both sides by 10 to remove that divide by 10. I can then subtract uh, 33 from both sides to get minus 21x is equal to minus 63. And then I could divide through by minus 21. And that gives me positive 3. So x equals 3 is the final answer. Okay, this question I've seen trip loads of people up. It's a quite a tricky question. Uh, to simplify a fraction like this, we have to factorise. You can't simplify without factorising. That's a good rule. Um, two numbers that times together to make 12 and add to make minus 7 are minus 3 and minus 4. And the bottom one can be factorised by just taking out x. So we get x and then we have 4 minus x. And normally we would get the same bracket on the top and the bottom, but in this case we don't. But there is one bracket which looks quite similar to the one on the bottom, and this is this x minus 4. We can't cancel them straight away though. What we need to do is we need to rejig it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out a negative on the bottom line. So I'm going to have x, and then I'm going to have times by minus 1, and if I take out a minus from this bracket, the signs will change. So the 4 will become negative and the x will become positive. So it will be x minus 4. And now we can cancel. We can divide through by these two. 
So I'm going to be left with x minus 3 on top, and I'm not x on the bottom, but minus 1 times x, which is minus x. Okay, here is a classic question. Again, we can't simplify until we factorised. So I'm going to start by factorising out an x from the top line, because they all have a x in there. So that's going to give me 6x squared plus 13x minus 5. And then on the bottom, I'm going to have to notice that this is a difference of two squares. So I've got two squares there, and a difference means subtract one from the other. So when we do that, we have a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b, a plus b. So I need to square root each of these. So I square root 4x squared, and I get 2x. And I square root 25, and I get 5. And then I write one bracket with a plus sign, one bracket with a minus sign. OK, still can't do any simplifying, but I can notice that this is now a quadratic, which we can factorise. I'm going to use the AC method. So timesing the A term and the C term together is going to give me um, minus 30. And timesing, oh sorry, and the B term is 13. So two numbers that times together to make minus 30 and add to make 13 must be 15 and minus 2. That does the job. So I write 6x, 6x all over 6, and that's simply because the a term is 6. And I put in those two numbers, 15 and minus 2. And I can't divide any of these brackets directly by 6, so instead I've got to split 6 up into 3 and 2. And now I can divide the left one by 3 and the right one by 2, which in fact will be dividing the whole thing by 6. So I will get x, and this one divided by 3 is 2x plus 5. And this one divided by 2 is 3x minus 1. And that's all over 2x minus 5, 2x plus 5. And can we factorise? Now we can simplify. Once we factorise, now we can simplify. So that and that can be crossed off. So our final answer will be x lots of 3x minus 1 all over 2x minus 5. OK, factorising is your friend. Expanding brackets is your enemy. OK, here's a tricky question, um, because we, are need, we need to write it as a single fraction, so we're going to need to find a common denominator, and we could multiply the two together, but that's going to be really tricky. So the trick here is to spot that this is a difference of two squares and can be factorised, and this itself can be factorised as well. So let's write them in their factorised form. Difference of two squares, I square root 9x squared, and I square root 25, and I write a minus in one and a plus in the other. And over here, I can take out a factor of 2, which gives me 3x plus 5. OK, great. Now what we can do is we can write this uh, with a common denominator. And the lowest common denominator would be multiplying this one by 3x minus 5. And if I do that, I have to do the same to the top as well. And I'll times this one by 2. So I have to do that to the top as well. And now you can see that the denominators are exactly the same. And that's the simplest denominator we could have created. So I can write out that we have a common denominator of 2 lots of 3x minus 5, 3x plus 5. And on the top, we have 2 minus 3x minus 5. And that top can be simplified. Uh, 2 minus minus 5 is 7. And then we have minus a 3x, so minus 3x. 
and that's all over this common denominator which I'll write out again and that is uh, completed okay here we go these are the monster questions absolute monsters so first things first bid mass it means we need to times before we add or subtract um, but actually before then we're going to want to factorize as much as possible so let's look at this multiplication that one I can't factorize at all this one I can I can do 3x minus 2 difference of two squares and 3x plus 2 and on the bottom I can factorize that quadratic AC is equal to minus 30 B is equal to minus 13 so the two numbers are minus 15 and 2 so I have 3x 3x all over um, 3 and I've got minus 15 and I've got plus 2 so this is going to give me I could divide that one by 3 so minus 5 and 3x plus 2 great so um, x minus 5 and 3x plus 2 fantastic it means that these two can cancel so when I'm multiplying these fractions together I just do the top oh Hold on, we've got loads of cancelling. Fantastic. This can cancel with that. So that just multiplication just gives me 1 over x minus 5. Brilliant. And so that is that simplified. And now I've got a minus uh, 7 over x minus 1. Okay, let's do it. Let's find a common denominator. Uh, neither of these can be factorized, so the common denominator will literally be them two multiplied together. So it'll be x minus 5 times x minus 1. So this one I'll need to times top and bottom by x minus 1, which will give me 1 times x minus 1, so just x minus 1. And this one I'll need to times top and bottom by x minus 5. So I will get 7x minus 5. And there's a subtraction sign in between, as there always is, because it catches people out. And now we need to just expand these brackets. So I'm going to get x minus 7x, which is minus 6x. And I'm going to get minus 1 minus minus 5, which is the same as minus 1 plus 5, which is plus 4. And that's all over x minus 5, x minus 1. Perfect. Uh, actually, finally, that top line can be factorized. So I could take out a 2, like that. Um, and it's actually not going to do anything. Uh, but it's good to factorize it just in case there was an opportunity to do more cancelling, but in this case there isn't, so both answers are good. Okay, another beast question to have a go at, um, so give it a go, and then here is the solution. Um, we've got bid mass again, we've got brackets, so we've got to do the brackets first. And neither of these two fractions can be simplified, so we're just going to have to multiply them to find the common denominator. So I'm going to get two lots of 2x minus 5 and three lots of x minus 3 and that will give me a common denominator of x minus 3, 2x minus 5. Uh, this will give me, when I multiply out these brackets on top, I will get 4x and I will get minus 10 and I will get minus 3x and I will get plus 9. So, and that's all over this same denominator. So this will simplify to 1x and minus 1. And that is x minus 3, 2x minus 5. Okay, let's now look at this, and that can be factorized. So the top line will be 2x minus 5. 2x plus 5. The bottom line we will need to do um, a factorization so I will do that 
where will I do that? I'll move you down a bit and I'll do it here. So we have AC is equal to 5 times minus 7, which is minus 35, and B is equal to 2. So the two numbers are positive 7 and negative 5. So we write 5x, 5x, and plus 7, negative 5, all over 5. So this will give me 5x plus 7, and this will give me x minus 1. And that fraction there was then multiplied by our bracket, which we worked out was x minus 1 over x minus 3 to x minus 5. There we go. And now the most fun you can have in IGCC Maths is cancelling out all of these lovely factors which you've created. So, whoops, that's not right. Uh, 2x minus 5 and 2x minus 5. And we have x minus 1 and x minus 1. And that's all we can do. So our final answer is 2x plus 5 over x, sorry, 5x plus 7, x minus 3. And we are done. Okay, great topic that. If you enjoyed it and you found it useful, please do like the video and subscribe. And we are going to move on to the next topic. So I'll see you there. Bye for now.